For Lou Reed, life was expressed through music. His band, The Velvet Underground, set the tone for rock and the punk music movement in the 1960s and early 70s. For a, a lot of people who like a lot of indie rock, punk music, certain underground kind of music, you know, Lou was as important as any of the Beatles. Back in the 1960s, Lou Reed and other iconic musical figures called this place home at one time or another, and they used what they saw in the hallways of this hotel as musical inspiration. Fans dropped off flowers in front of the Chelsea to pay tribute to Reed while remembering what his music meant to them. The Velvet Underground were, you know, years ahead of their time. You know, Lou Reed, you know, he's sort of god godfather of punk rock, really. When I was in high school, he was my musical taste. So, I mean, growing up in a small town in Wyoming and listening in to that kind of music, and it was just so bizarre and different than from, say, all the country western that I listened to. Reed and the Velvet Underground mixed music with art, collaborating with Andy Warhol, but as influential as it was, their first album sold few copies. The classic quote about the, the Velvet Underground, which is worth repeating, is that only you know 30,000 or so people bought Velvet Underground records, but every one of those people went on to start a rock band. Um, so much of what Lou did with the Velvet Underground just kind of presaged uh, punk and everything that became uh, uh, called alternative rock later in the 80s and 90s. She says, hey babe, take a walk on the wild side. Reed had greater success as a solo artist after the Velvet Underground broke up in the mid-70s. He never stopped making music, he never stopped changing. Uh, he did have some commercial success with um, uh, Transformer, which was an album produced by David Bowie. It had his kind of one big solo hit, Walk on the Wild Side. Reed made no secret of his problems with drugs and alcohol. He underwent a liver transplant earlier this year. The Velvet Underground was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996. More recently, Lou Reed collaborated with artists like Metallica, and just last year, he toured with his new band, Metal Machine Trio. He also contributed vocals to Metric's 2012 album, Synthetica. When I'm closing in on death. But it will be his time with the Velvet Underground, shaping the future of rock music that most fans will remember when they think of Lou Reed. You can't help me, not you guys. Juan Carlos Molina, Al Jazeera, New York.